What can we make of people who claim to have free energy technology? Why is there a lack of clear, unambiguous evidence to support it? The concept of over-unity defies the laws of physics as we understand them. The proponents of this technology claim that there is an elaborate conspiracy within science which teaches false and misleading information, for example, that relativity and quantum mechanics in any way represent reality. According to mainstream science, and I happen to go along with this, relativity and quantum mechanics are the two greatest scientific achievements of the 20th century and have been shown through experiment to be very accurate representations of how the universe works. They're not definitive, but very close. One thing Richard Feynman said, which has stuck with me, is that in order to get to grips with the latest scientific research, you need to learn the basics of the subject and build up an understanding in incremental steps. In other words, don't skip the middle bit and jump straight to the curvature of space-time or the mass of the electron. If you do that, you're bound to be confused. The point is that the laws of physics are freely available to anyone with access to a good library or the internet. We can follow the steps of science from ancient Greece to the Large Hadron Collider, if we have the time and inclination. The information is freely available. Now I haven't studied physics exhaustively, but based on what I have learned, I am fairly confident that there is no conspiracy within the scientific community to distort our understanding of reality so that we dismiss the claims made by the proponents of perpetual motion machines and other such devices out of hand. The allegations made against science are often along the lines of the establishment, the powers that be, the military-industrial complex and the financial institutions are all in each other's pockets and somehow manage to steer the course of scientific research down false avenues, not to mention the suppression of any new discoveries which challenge them to continue making a lot of money out of oil. Now I'm sure that there is some truth in some of this. After all, human beings can be misled and corrupted. But my main problem with this viewpoint is that it seems to fail to recognise the fact that scientific inquiries are led by curiosity, a desire to understand the workings of the universe, and a method which encourages questions at every step of the way and continually strives to falsify the conclusions it has reached up to that point. The critics of the peer review process claim that it's a form of censorship designed to weed out any new ideas which threaten to undermine what they call scientific dogma. But if you ask any scientist, he or she will tell you that it's there to check for factual errors and inaccuracy. A bit like a newspaper editor, but without the tendency to let standards slip if it is likely to sell more copies of the paper. Science is in the truth business, and if it turns out that some of the conclusions are wrong, then the new improved and refined version will become mainstream. There are a number of people who claim to have access to or have built devices which put out more energy than they consume. This really would be sensational if it could be shown to be true. But the current mainstream understanding is that it's impossible to extract more energy than is put in to a closed system. The devices I have seen so far all seem to have a question mark over exactly how long they can continue to run and how much energy is going in and out. If such things really exist, and are what they claim to be, then in this day of high definition video cameras and internet connections, why are we not seeing clear and unambiguous evidence to demonstrate such concepts? As Carl Sagan said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. I don't know if he was the first person to come up with that quote, but it's very important. The counter-argument is that the inventors and owners of such devices are in fear of their lives because the oil cartels and the powers that be will prevent such evidence from entering the public domain. If this really is the case, then I'd like to offer my services here and now. I have an HD video camera, and I'm prepared to film any device which can be clearly shown to be putting out more energy than is going into it, and I'll upload the footage on this channel. If anyone watching this knows of someone with such a device, then please pass this video on to them and contact me by PM. 
If I can't get to the location, then I'll do my best to find someone who can. I'm keen to promote any technology which helps to reduce and eliminate our dependence on fossil fuels. But so far, the only viable alternatives that I'm aware of are already being used. Not as much as I'd like them to be, but wind, solar, wave, geothermal, hydroelectric, hydrogen fuel cells, biomass, and so on, aren't shrouded in mystery. Remember, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Thanks for watching.